Tree roots are the number one enemy to any drainage system. You have to go to great lengths to keep those tree roots from clogging your system. We have a beautiful example of an underground buried downspout system. Let me show you all the components. We have the leaf filter. It's also a downspout adapter to four inch pipe. This fits in four inch anything. It could be PVC schedule 40, could be PVC thin wall, could be triple wall, anything. Single wall corrugated, dual wall. This is a dual wall, 12 inch riser. Notice how high the guys are with this line. Look at how high this line is. That's done right. Always start this as high as you possibly can get it. That way you can get some slope. So this is sloped super hard to the catch basin. It is so exaggerated. And I love that. There's just barely enough dirt to cover that. That's how shallow that line is. This is textbook. This is perfect. This is what you want. Hard slope right to your catch basin. This catch basin didn't need any risers where it sits. They drilled some holes in it. They went ahead and put drainage fabric under it and then some P-Stone. We have a coupler that connects the three inch pro to the basin. Look at how well that's taped up. Spare no expense when it comes to taping up these fittings, especially with tree roots like you see. The blue that you see is copper sulfate. Copper sulfate's gonna push the roots away. It will push the roots away. That's what we want. We could see that in the future, whether it's five years, 10 years, these roots are gonna to start to choke this pipe. Not when you do this. Generously sprinkle some copper sulfate. This is beautiful. We had to go under this one sprinkler line. Unfortunately, sometimes you're forced to make this hard decision. Do I go over it or do I go under it? The guys had to go under it to maintain their slope. And they had to go a little deeper all of a sudden than they would have really wanted. The nice thing is the three inch pipe allowed them to go under it. They didn't have to cut that sprinkler line. Huge advantage when you're not cutting up somebody's sprinkler system. Beautiful pop-up right here. The nose of it is kicked down. Again, this is not quite a 90. Now this pop-up, because we had to go under that one line, this pop-up needed to be on a couple risers. Let me show you what that looks like. Actually, there's one riser on that pop-up that gives it a two inch bump. Again, these risers, they have this ring. So when you backfill this and the dirt is up against this riser, this ring gets caught in the dirt. So when you pull this off, if you ever need to, you don't take the riser with it. No screws hold that on, it's just a slip fit. Our entire system clicks together, slips together beautifully. There's never been an underground buried downspout kit that would allow you such ease of install. Honestly, this is our Gen 4. It took us a few years to get here, but we're really happy with it. There's nothing left to improve upon. This is perfection. This is the perfect underground buried downspout kit. You're looking at 24 feet of the three inch pro. This pipe is on the larger side for three inch pipe. In its class, it's the largest three inch pipe. We had to make a special fitting just to make all these connections. This is a beautiful job by a professional crew. When you want it done right the first time, give French Dream Man a call. This is beautiful. Copper sulfate crystals. That is tree's kryptonite. This will push roots away, not just prevent them, but push them away. If you found any of this information helpful, give us a thumbs up. It supports our channel. If you have any questions about this installation, leave them in the comment section. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and until the next video.